This video is supported by viewers like you. If you want to help me make more things like this, consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you. The flag of Nepal is... different. Not rectangular, tall and wide. Among all the other country flags, that makes it stand kinda about completely alone. And that's often not easy, because rectangular and wider than tall are such clear standards for country flags. Exceptions Switzerland and the Vatican, both square, there often arise problems when the glorious nation of Nepal is represented by flag. At sporting events, on the internet, and even at the UN. The Vexillological Pedantic Society distinguishes acts of Nepalese flag distortion as follows. The tall, the inflatable, the long, and worst of all, the white. Now, how is that possible? Is it that hard to correctly represent a flag? Ever tried getting a piece of cloth in that shape? It's super hard. You could just cut off the white background. True, I could. You won't though. Nope. The truth is, flags are distorted all the time. For example, to deal with different aspect ratios. But with the Nepalese flag, thanks to its dramatic standard deviation, it just really sticks out. If the French flag appeared a bit wider than it should, exactly no one would even bat an eye. But if a flag mysteriously changes its shape from five to four corners, that's a bit much. Actually, non-rectangular flags shouldn't be too much of a shock. Hmm. Flags have always come in all kinds of shapes. A swallowtail, triangle, double triangle, and about everything else you can imagine. Not country flags, though. Searching for the why, I've interviewed a flag designer from back in the day. Why the rectangle? Because it's easiest to manufacture? Or because its maximization of surface area to height makes it easiest to catch the wind? Not much of a talker, are you? Okay. Still don't know the exact reasoning behind it, but the basic theory of how we got the rectangle country flag goes something like this. During colonialism, European ships incidentally used rectangular flags signaling their country of origin to avoid mix-ups. Through constant use, these also became nation-state symbols on land, solidifying the concept of country flags as rectangular, wider than tall pieces of cloth. And all other countries then adopted that shape, since a real country needs a real country flag. Except Nepal, that is. Would you like to make your flag a bit more rectangular? No? But all these cool new countries also have rectangular ones. Don't want to join them? No, Nepal not. Listen here, think about it. We're having an international Nepal not, no, Nepal no, never, na, no, hot. For so much stubbornness, Nepal deserves a bit of respect but not rectangular and taller than wide isn't where the idiosyncrasies of its flag end. Its two triangles are different heights, so the border of the upper goes a bit further than that of the lower. Its red base alone has a neat aspect ratio of 3 to 4, which the blue border turns into an irrational number. And for enthusiasts, the Nepalese constitution features a create your own flag section in 24 easy steps. But that's what the flag of Nepal is like different in every way, with all perks and drawbacks. Come on! Can you people not read simple instructions? Well, at least in one way, the flag of Nepal is as ordinary as it gets. No color is featured more often on flags than red, white and blue. <laughs>